everyone, welcome to the Dead Stock Stash. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing, and I just got these in the mail today, so I'm actually pretty quick with this release, which normally does not happen. If you have not yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you find this video helpful. I'm also having a giveaway currently for some Travis Scott shirts. So check that out, the link is in the description. It's super easy, all you have to do is subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and you'll be entered to win those shirts. So this is a new box style from Nike. I guess I should kind of show this to you really quick. Um, you could actually, like I'm touching the shoe box in here, but it says on the back here, we're offsetting 100% of the carbon emissions from the shipment. Help us by recycling this box. And then there's a QR code. If you scan that QR code, it takes you to Nike's website, basically where they show like the 2020 Flynet. And then they show you other initiatives that they currently have going on to basically recycle and reuse materials that they would otherwise be waste, I guess. So check that out. I do like Nike's initiative. Um, I also just noticed that this box has this nice little seal, so if you needed to return these, you don't have to use a bunch of tape. You're gonna use the same box and you're just gonna peel that, close this flap back up and send it out. So that's cool. It's the little things, you know, it seems like it's not much, but over time, it, uh, it adds up. All right, so this is my first pair of mids. Um, I have never bought Jordan mids before. These are the band colorway. They literally just came out on Nike's website on November 12th. The retail price was 115. The official colorway is black, gym red, and white. I got a size nine, which is my normal size. Um, as I said, this is my first pair of mids because I know, I know that they've been super popular the last few years, mostly this year and some of last year. But, please don't hate me for saying this if you're a huge fan of mids. I am not a fan of mids because to me, they are basically discount at ones. You know, one highs, like this is just like, I don't wanna say a knockoff one because obviously it's not a knockoff. And honestly, these are probably easier to wear because they aren't as high, so I understand why they're so popular. They're also much easier to get, and I understand that sometimes the Jordan 1 retros, like the highs, they're they're impossible to get. Like, if, you, if there's a good colorway, it would be impossible. If this was a one high, this would be going for, you know, $300 plus on right now. Right now they're, what, $30 over retail. So like, this is definitely a good alternative, but that's what it is, you know? Like, I hate to say it, but it is just an alternative to a one because anybody would prefer to have the original Jordan one over these, in my opinion, you know? I, I understand they're easier to wear because they aren't as high, easier to get. They definitely have their benefits, lower price, retail price, as well as resale price. And some resale on, on mids are pretty crazy, in my opinion, but to me, they're just not a true Jordan one. It's the discount on Jordan one. Hate me, agree with me, let me know what you think. Tell me I'm an idiot if that's what it is, but that's my thoughts on it. Um, as I said, these are my first pair and the quality seems, you know, okay. It's nothing crazy. I'm not blown away by the leather. It actually doesn't feel that great, but it's definitely not terrible. I've had worse quality from Nike on much more expensive shoes. The reason why I ended up buying these um, was because of the colorway, like that's it. It's just, you know, one of those classic colorways and I figured, why not? I'll give it a shot. Why not try them out? It's been a few years now. I kind of hesitated on them because they just weren't my thing. Good colorway, very wearable colorway, super popular. If nothing else, I'm sure the resale on these will go up. It just takes one, you know, influencer to wear these and they'll be in the three four hundred dollar range but at the end of the day the band retro ones are still always going to be more than these there's some glue stains nothing too crazy qualities quality's okay like I, like i said i'm not blown away by it but 
Actually right there, I'll show that in the B-roll too. But right there, there's some weird stuff where maybe some glue left over on that tab. And then there's like a scuff or something here. No glue on the back of this tab. I will be doing an on foot of these. Obviously I got them in my size, so stick around for that. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it, it means a lot to me. If you have not yet, also follow me on Instagram at the Deadstock Stash. And that's all I got. Good luck on your next cop. Take care.